Hey people, so it's been a while since the last episode. Uh, I've had, well, I've moved apartment and I've also had to reformat my computer and my keyboard broke uh, when I was moving, so that's just great. Anyhow, I think we're good. The mouse is a bit sluggish, not sure why. Anyhow, I got a lot of stuff I want to do. Uh, first of all, I want to kick out some of the, the, the lesser, lesser, uh, the cheaper. Researches like this one, basic experimental power, we can craft those manually and they're not that expensive. Um, I'm not sure if this one that is also rather cheap. Yeah, simplified and basic, that should be doable as well. So we'll need 15, that's 90, 90 tin plates. Yeah, 90 tin plates. And we'll need uh, 30 of those. Okay, that is not reacting. 30 of those, and that is 30 times stick, so that's 180 plus loose ones. Um, so 180 cover, yeah, 180 cover and 90 tin. The cover we can craft manually, but the tin we have to input here. Oh, yeah, I already set that up, so that's 90. And basic experiment balls we need to craft 30 of them. Cover. Oh, yeah, we cannot craft those ourselves. That's right. Wait. What? Oh, yeah, the tin plates I can make. I, I forget they, they change stuff. That means we have to wait. Okay, then. Uh, other stuff I want to get done. I want to get down and get the. Uh, the conveyors deep down replaced with tubes all the way. I think we have enough materials for that now. And I also want to set up a new smelting. I want to build more smelters. That's the smelter, not that. Um, change the system up here because we're going to upgrade the lower extractors and also going to start upgrading these to better ones. So, yeah, but we got the teleport now, so that should be an issue. Alright, so that is, uh, that is punching through there. And I can't be asked to wait around, so let's craft some tubes and get down and get that done. Now I'm not sure how many I'm gonna need, but I can see that I have enough to craft 31. Actually, I'm sure that I'm not sure that is enough. So yeah, we're gonna use all nick on this, which means we can't really set up um, extra smelters. Just yet. Oh yeah, uh, new patch, new stuff. For example, yeah, I'm changing subject here. Uh, these has gotten a glow. A lot of stuff gotten glow. I think that is more glow. We also got these. Basically, uh, you make these, and uh, waves of mobs will come. I'm not sure if they will still come if I delete because that time was going down. So that's a problem because I don't have any defense, but basically waves of mobs will attack your base and you will have to uh, kill them with defenses, turrets and such, and you will get stuff for it. Now I don't know if uh, placing that has actually started the thing and it will continue even though I removed the, uh, the, the threat sensor, threat scanner, so uh, that might be a problem, we'll see. Anyhow, teleport, how they work? Well, they charge up 200% so you can jump two times in a row without charging additionally. Uh, it requires a lot of energy. But how they work, you simply stand on them, you jump, and you will go to the spot where you place the location marker. Boom! We just went 380 uh, meters down. And everything's working as supposed to down here, but now we want to get up. Uh, we're not going to replace the the conveyors. Oh, that almost went horribly wrong. Uh, but what we are going to replace is uh, this whole meta mover part. We do not want that. I'm going to start from the top and go down because that's easy. So I can take uh, one block down at a time. Is this? Yeah. No. Wait. What? Okay. 
this is an intermediary spot, but getting it up here will save us energy. So, right, um, yeah, we're gonna stop by removing that there storage hopper and move down. And we don't want it to fall, and we kind of want to be able to grab it as well. All right. And now we just gotta start placing our very expensive pipes. We really wish they would lower um, the cost of them uh, in nickel because it's uh, five bars of anything per pipe is just too much, in my humble opinion. All right, let's just make sure these are turned the right way up. Otherwise, this will all be for naught. Oh. That's it, Rob. Alright, I think we can continue this. Now, I'm not sure if they are turned the right side, but they should be since I'm pointing above my own uh, location. They usually turn upwards when I do that. And when they start getting at my location, they start turning the other way around for some weird reason. Also, I have been uh, forced to turn the music off because TuneCore um, keep making copyright claims on uh, the videos where I have the background music turned on since they uh, they do what they uh, uh, represent the artist. That's it. Uh, the artist has actually been on the forum complaining about this, but apparently to call on care. I also got permission from the devs of this game, but uh, to call still does not care. They needed proof somehow, and I'm not sure how to provide that, given them screenshots of me getting permission on the forum and such, but alas. It's no good, so I'm just turning off the background music. In case anyone else is watching, wondering how I'm doing that, you press Ctrl and M at the same time. This will open your scanner, but you can just change back and the music will be turned off for the rest of the session. Um, so yeah, copyright sucks. But uh, that's the way it is, I guess. I think about now. The plates should be done well the first batch, we're gonna have to make more since they require a couple plates and not thin plates and tin. Ouch. Oh yeah. I just realized I may have been crafting the wrong plates in my rush. Uh <laughs> crap. Let's just go take a look. Alright, what I got here? We got 10 plates. We got a lot of 10 plates. And we needed 25 simplified, so nah, it's good. It's good. Let's see, we can make the basics. Oh, I keep forgetting what I need now. I am getting in doubt. Alright. We want to make advanced logistics, basic experimental parts. So that's cover, that's 25 cover. Uh, PCBs. Here we need 15, that's the, that's the 90, yes, that's the 90 I was making. Alright. So we need to make 15 PCBs. And we should be good. Two. Three, four, and that's the five, and now we input the ten, and they should pop out on the other side. <sighs> Alright, then we need to make the cover as well, and we will need 30 of them, so that's 180. Yeah, it is. So we're just gonna fill this up with cover. Yeah, I know. I don't know what I'm thinking. I already got this toolbar. I actually like this system with the tap toolbars. It's really good when when you remember to use it. All right, so let's input the first 100. 
And we'll have to put in 80 more afterwards. Oh, that was a bad idea. The red spec, we don't want to mix these up. Alright. That's primary PCPs, yeah. Let's just input that. Also, note, don't fill this up when you own... You got 7 slots now because it pulled in 1 PCP and 6 plates. But if you fill that up, it had no output. So, I wasted about 15 minutes while I was doing something else. And it's because I just filled it up and it was just standing and waiting for me to empty it. That was not uh, one of my best decisions. Anywho, it is going. And this will take a while. I should probably have several tracks of these, but uh, can't be asked. Now, we also wanted to set up another smelting area here. And I don't think we can afford it because we used our nickel. Uh, we got a ton of everything else, especially gold, wow. Um, so yeah, we gotta wait on that and we gotta wait on these to get done. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so I just went down to fix a little issue. I came back up and it would seem that my base is on fire. Why is it taking damage? It says 200% damage. And it's going down. Uh, this is weird. Right. Uh, I think it may have been the fit to take the... Yeah, I fits with something attacking my mates. I'm not sure what the effect is, but it would seem that um, no matter if I have to threat detect that round or not, it would get under attack by unknown enemies because nothing is around, I've not seen anything around. I took the teleport down, I fixed that it was a pipe that I turned the wrong way, came back up and yeah, came and went it seems. But it doesn't seem like it's doing anything, it's just uh, repairing itself from several hundred percent damage, which should destroy it, I don't know, no idea. Anyhow, uh, yeah, continuing on. Alright, the pots are done, and the fire is out. Uh, once it went back to 0% damage, it, uh, well, the damage indicator disappeared, and it, uh, Put the fire out. Anyhow, I found another problem. I'm just going to deposit these parts and I'm gonna get to it. What? Why? Okay, never mind then. Just messed up. Alright, um, let's start with this one. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. Anyhow, what I found out, I was just checking on the form. Apparently the red bubbles that sometimes appear in the hollow map uh, are danger indicators. Also, moving up and down seems glitchy. And this is me playing... Now I'm going... Uh, I'm pressing W, continuing to press W. It seems to be dependent on the mouse's uh, aim. Anyhow, red bubbles that sometimes pop up as you see down there, apparently indicate danger, and since they're at my conveyors, I'm pretty much assuming that they mean um, Minox, Minox I believe they're called. The things that will leech my stuff. Also, I gotta set up base defenses. Actually, before we go down, let's set up some single turrets. Just in case whatever made my thing burn comes back. We got turret Mark 2 now, which is uh, preferable to make since turret Mark 1 costs emeralds. And they're pretty cheap. One tin, one iron, and one lithium. And I keep forgetting I have this. Alright, let's just pop one lithium through that. And one iron through that. 
And there we go. Should be able to make a turret mark 2 now that we can do. I'll see if they updated the model as well. Well, it should since it's Mark II and the other one's Mark One. Oh yeah, that is that's that's definitely bigger. And searching and sucking a lot of power, but I can't see. Okay, I wonder if it's only going to point in that direction. Kind of looks like it. Nah, it's just like a B. Now. Let's go take a look for the Minox because I don't want to be giving out my ore to anyone. Alright, we're just gonna check uh, the conveyors all the way down. And in the meanwhile, get some research done. Considering uh, leveling out the area around the base uh, and setting up four or more. Um, Turrets around it with their own power. Since um, you're gonna be, it seems like you're gonna be fighting uh, NPCs pretty soon, well, already, but uh, I'd imagine it getting a bit more serious in the future instead of just having a harmless fire that may destroy something. And I kinda wanna be prepared for that. Oh, come on, stop, stop stopping. Well, that's a problem. Oh, it seems to be below. But yeah, those are Minox and they are hardy as... They're very hardy. It takes a ton to damage or to kill. Okay, I can't hit it. Oh! Well, it seems they had the health reduced because that used to be harder. Now the question is, where is this hive and could it possibly be in uh, this area here? I mean, that would be a pretty good bet that it is um, somewhere in these large open caves. I've never seen a hive mine before, uh, so I'm not really sure what to look for and this area is just so freaking big. No idea where to look. Oh, that's the one. No idea. If, let's see if something pops up on uh, Fred Scan. As you can see, there was a red bubble further down. That means that there's probably another Minog on my uh, tracks down there, and also means that it's probably a hive mine, probably somewhere between my location and that, since it fits pretty well with the 200 meter limit on the range from the hive mine to the Minog. But it doesn't seem that anything outside of my stuff uh, pops up. And I don't think <sighs> okay, that looks creepy. And I don't think uh, I'm gonna find anything running around here because this place is very, very wow, big. Yeah. So. Uh, may as well move down. Take a look, you know. Okay, I kind of wonder if we could cheat a bit. I've explained this cheat kind of deal f before, where you oh, do not fall through the ground. Crap. That could have sucked. I guess that's what you get for trying to cheat, huh? Anyhow, what it is about is uh, you go to a wall. And you place a block on your head, and now you can see through the world. Um, oh, and that's Ruby down there. I used to do this for finding crystals before you could ping them because it was impossible to find, but I don't really anymore because it's more fun to uh, follow the sound, in my opinion. Okay, I have no idea where it could be. And, okay, that's my. Yeah, I'm just going to go back up the. I'm going to go back up the tracks and check. Actually, we can use this now oh, that to check. Okay, is there anything? Where do we have the red bubbles? Got one down there. Okay, it seems to be up 
updating rather frequently, so I think that's the only one uh, we have. Okay, there may be two down there, but they're still below us, so we won't have to get up. Still need to find a way to locate those hive mines because uh, running down here to kill Minox is not um, what you might call it effective. It's not feasible. It's not a long-term solution. All right, I see pink. So let's blow it up. Huh. Okay, last time I found one, uh, not last time, um, when I found one in my last world, it would take a lot more to kill them, like three or four of those uh, charged shots. So that's a relief. But I'm still very much wondering where the hive mind is, mind is because these things are going to keep spawning. Until I get rid of that. Um, so yeah, oh come on. Okay, it seems to be closer here because there are more Minox. I would think that would indicate um, closer proximity. I wonder what is this that Robin? Oh, nice. Apparently, uh, yeah, well, you either shoot through them or you can. Uh, there's an AoE shot. Now, it could be down here somewhere. But again, it's a very large area to search. Because, yeah, caves and stuff. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's go look. We're gonna have to kind of suicide to get back up. We don't have to, but uh, it's gonna take forever to get up. We don't, so let's just use some uh, time on searching. No idea what exactly I'm looking for. I've seen a few screenshots, but they were kind of vague. Uh, but it seemed like it is a big thing. So it should be uh, noticeable. Wow, this is a big cave. And we also gotta watch out now because okay, I don't remember what level the toxic caves I have get there. Uh, we kinda die. Oh yeah, uh, hive mines have a special kind of thing around them, so we should be able to ping them actually. And of course we have... Okay. Apparently we have large concentrations of unknown stuff down here. Oh, that's... That's biomass. Um, we should kind of be dead before we found that, shouldn't we? I think we should. Not sure. I'm getting down, but that is problematic because, um, well, if we research that now, we will have a hard time finding it again. But if we don't, we will not be able to scan for said hive mind. Uh, I hate this. Okay, no, you know what? Well, let's bring some. We can make pink. We can make biomass pink, uh, so it won't be an issue. Oh, they upgraded the, the, the super laser thing. That looks awesome. Look at that. That's great. Alright. We still won't be able to fight the hive mine before we go up, so we'll just uh, keep looking until we run out of cave, and then we'll suicide. I know it is... Uh, I don't know what to call it. Poor sportsmanship? I don't know. Um... But it is just the most effective way of getting back up. Okay, stuff starting to look a bit wobbly. I think we're at the, the poisonous level. Well, getting there at least. 
like I don't see anything that looks like a hive mind here. Have the scanties. No, we have not. Let's bring them back up and do some research. Anything we get researched will uh, be one less uh, fall in our behind uh, when we start actually looking for useful stuff. I think I came from in there. Whoa. Whoa. Alright. Jeez, these caves are big. I really love the, the, the size of the world. I mean, sure, it's infinite like Minecraft is, but the fact that it just keeps going down and evolving as you go down, I think that is brilliant. Okay, we are just gonna drop down and die. I think. Yep. Okay, let's check how our uh, project is going, then check on our research. And see if our base is on fire again. Woo, it's not. Excellent. And let's see here. 26, 24% down, sorry. Yeah, this will take a while. Alright, what were we doing? We were researching. That's right. And that should be the biomass. And plant. Plant. See if uh, this has any danger. I wonder what that is. Right. Yeah. Those pink things. You think that could be the hive mind? I wonder. Because they're pretty far, but they're very far from, uh, yeah, they are too far. We can't go that deep without dying. No, we cannot. Well, that's, I think we can. Okay, where are at? Can't tell, we gotta go down there. But we are also running out of time, so I think that will be an expedition for another time. Really did, get us, really did not get as much done in this episode as I had hoped, but I've spent a lot of time running around talking to the team. Uh, so my apologies for that, but that's how things go sometimes. I think I'll plan a bit ahead for the next one, make some more realistic uh, goals, even though that's hard due to material limitations and it just takes forever. But I think we need to upgrade our grid and we really need to get some more uh, nickel. But then again, we just removed, uh, what, four or five Minox? So that should make things a bit easier on the material gathering front. Even though we only got enough for five uh, pipes at the moment. Uh, but then again, we also got enough for two smelters. So we don't need them before we upgrade our miners. So many things depending on each other, it makes it a bit hard to plan on the top of my head. But, uh, yeah. Well, next episode will probably be a hive mind search, setting up defenses, and hopefully improving uh, our resource gathering a bit. So, yeah. Anyhow, thank you for watching. If you liked the episode, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, if you have any questions regarding this video or Fortress Craft in general, feel free to ask in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer and help. See ya!